Hey, Lifeline, it's finally nice to meet you. Hey, so do you always bring that ball around? This ball actually splits into more balls and then wherever the balls land, it creates a speed boost pad for everyone. If the enemies get in your way, they also get stunned and damaged. Um, I can only do it every two minutes, but it's pretty good. I can also run faster with shotguns. Uh -huh. uh, if I damage an enemy, they also get highlighted for me, uh -huh. which, you know, it's pretty good. What about you? Oh, you know, I have a drone uh, that heals people. That's, that's all it does. Does it follow you at least? No. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of lame. I have a care package that gives people loot. It's the longest cooldown in the game. Oh. And uh, Loba's ultimate just destroys mine in pretty much every way. Oh, but I can also automatically revive people. But they took away my shield. The people upstairs did you dirty. I know. So I didn't do a So You Wanna Main last season, but if you guys want to see someone like Ash, I'll do a So You Wanna Main for Ash. If this video hits 200 likes, I will do one. Like right after this one. Also, if you guys are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and hit that like button as well. Mad Maggie, aka Margaret Cohair? Google? Cohair. Can you help me? AKA the Rebel Warlord. Age 55. Damn. Hey. She old. Homeworld Salvo. If y'all didn't know, she was the woman who had a strong friendship with Fuse when they were younger growing up. And they ended up growing up to be mercenaries together. They create, they then created a mercenary operation called the Cracked Talon. But then one day Fuse decided to leave the group for the Apex Games and then Maggie was not having it. She got mad and ended up blowing up his arm with a grenade. Her hometown was eventually run over by the syndicate, so she decided to dedicate her life to expose how weak the syndicate were to hope that Salvo would maybe rebel. However, she ended up failing and the syndicate sentenced her to death in the Apex Games. So her passive is the Warlord's Ire. You temporarily highlight enemies you've damaged and move faster with shotguns. The highlight is basically like getting scanned in Apex and you can see them through walls. Now this is really nice because you know, shotguns are basically a staple in Apex. You wanna have them at all times for up close. And this also works when you're ADSing as well with a shotgun, so. Her tactical, the riot drill. Fire a drill that gets attached to an object and burns enemies on the other side. Cooldown is 22 seconds and lasts for nine seconds. Can be used really far. I mean, really far. No one hides from my drill. It can do a maximum of 160 damage and it cannot be destroyed. So if you see it, you better just run. Can drill through an object up to 13 meters, takes one second to activate. And when it gets to the other side, there's this little like flare or fire. That long schlong is about five meters. So don't stay too close to the drill or you will take that damage. Kind of random, but you can hold the tactical while shooting. Some tips that I have for you with this tactical, an obvious one is using it on a door when the enemy is behind it. That is the most plain and simple one. Usually an enemy will try to heal with behind it, especially if they're weak or some people just like to do door play in Apex. So yeah, just use it behind a door can also be used to block off an area so you can heal or get better position. And if your enemies decide to go through the fire, they will take some damage. So you're going to have the advantage when you get enemies weak and they go behind a wall to heal, use it on the wall. It can also go through rampart walls and Gibraltar bubbles you can like use it on the gibraltar bubble so they can't go on that side and then enter from another side another great thing for this is getting people to rotate out of their cover so if they're in a good spot or something you can use it on them and they're gonna have to rotate out and if they end up rotating out you're gonna have the chance to do some damage this is going to be used on very very special occasions but you can use it on a crypto drone and crypto can have a mobile flamethrower basically and this is probably one of the most fun things you can do in Apex. 
And then finally, her ultimate, the wrecking ball. Throw balls, pause, that release boosting pads and detonates near enemies. Cooldown is 1 minute and 30 seconds. When enemies get hit by balls, they get stunned and take 20 damage. Now this stun does last for a little while. So if you get stunned by it, you're at a major disadvantage in the gunfight. Going on speed boost does give you a, a maximum of 30% extra speed and last for 3 seconds. However, if you're someone like Octane or Bangalore who can get speed boosts from like their stim or their passive, it does not stack with the speed boost. So you're not going to get like an extra 60% extra speed and just move like the flash across the map. No, you're just going to keep that maximum of 30%. The speed boost pads do end up disappearing after 60 seconds. So you want to keep that in mind. The balls can break doors. You can use it inside to create a super speed mini dome and be super fast. Honestly, it's so fun. Like that's not really a tip, but it's so fun to use it inside and just have a bunch of speed boosts inside an area. And it, it makes Apex a whole different game. You can also use it in the open to travel places faster since the ball will usually go straight. Sometimes it will get stuck on an object or just completely go somewhere else where you don't want it to. But usually it will go straight if there's nothing there. Use it to you can also use it to escape enemies or push them and you can also use it to escape enemies or push them. The balls do launch enemies so you can potentially throw them off the map but that is super situational it'll probably never happen but if you see them near a ledge just use your ultimate and hopefully it will just throw them off overall she is an all-around character like she has bunch a bunch of abilities taken from other legends but like it's not the best for example her highlight the scan it's not as good as bloodhound she also runs faster but it's not as great as like octanes she does have the boost pads again for the speed boost, but not as good as Octane's. However, I will give her that since you have all these abilities, she is one of the most fun characters in the game. Like throwing these balls, pause, the balls do give you extra speed boost. So you can just have so much fun and potential with it. Uh, if you're starting off in the game, I wouldn't really use her. She does take uh, quite a lot of skill. It's not going to be super easy to use her off bat, but if you put time and effort into her, learning all her abilities and how to use it well then she is a a pretty good character in my opinion and i think she is really really balanced that is so you want to main maggie uh, hopefully y'all enjoyed the video if you guys did leave a thumbs up if y'all want to see more of my apex legends videos hit the subscribe button down below my name is attached hope you have a fantastic day and i'm out deuces if you want to chat to me pull up but don't be indecisive i cannot die call me your god call me your cyrus yeah Bitch, I'm resting every time I fall down, I come back to life, yeah. I am a sniper, boy, I am a force, you do not wanna fight, yeah. I don't build my empire, but Romans are built on a day. 10,000 hours don't mean shit, boy, you don't.